Hey guys, welcome back to Creators of the Lost Art. And today is the day. We're about to go in to Children's for Franklin to have his cochlear implant on the right side. Super excited. Um, new hearing aids. New hearing aids, that's right. Uh, what the plan is for today is for them to go in and just put the internal equipment in. Uh, it's about a two hour procedure and he should be able to go home afterwards. Whew, okay. Now, there is the possibility, um, like I've said many times, that right ear just constantly draining. Um, it really needed to dry out on the inside. So he hasn't been wearing his hearing aid in the right side at all to hopefully give it that opportunity to really dry out. Now, what could possibly happen is if they open up that area where they would put the equipment, if it has any type of buildup of fluid the surgeon will, uh, again, not the most technical of things when I speak of medical, but um, they will, he'll open it up in the back so it can drain back out, not through his ear tube, but back out. And he'll sew them back up and we'll try again in three months. So we'd have to do this all over again in three months. So praying that's not the case, that he goes in there, everything looks good, and they're able to place that inside. Uh, after that, uh, we'll go home, and in about two weeks, he will go to his audiology appointment, or they will actually have the cochlear implant, they'll place it, and we'll just get started, see how that goes, the next step of the journey, but first, we have to get it in. So, fingers crossed, prayers, good thoughts, I appreciate it. Here we go. So we just finished with surgery. It went great. Uh, there was no fluid. So Franklin has officially started his cochlear implant journey. It's official. <laughs> He's pretty out of it. Um, they did give him some uh, Tylenol back there. They just said that obviously ear surgery uh, around the head. Um, Apple juice, he's thirsty, which is a good sign. So he's waking up, yeah, that's expected to. Um, waking up, hopefully getting dressed and then heading home. Uh, funny note, first thing he said, um, he wanted to go to Walmart. So um, I told him we'd have to wait, maybe do that on another day. <laughs> I think we're just gonna pack up and go home, but uh, continuing on with the day. three days. Uh, yesterday was a pretty good day. He was feeling a little more peppy. Uh, I did complain a bit that his head hurt. So I think he's feeling much better today. He even made an appearance at our farmer's market and he is ready to get this bandage off. Franklin, you ready? All right. <laughs> Don't cut him, daddy. Can we hold it? You ready? Nope, 
hair is still good. Oh, got a little bit. Daddy got one piece. Right? Daddy still has one piece left to get. <laughs> Be gentle. Mm -hmm. oh. Can you? Alright, let daddy clean it up. Here, let's look. Don't forget look this way. Yoda. Look this way. Here, turn this way. So daddy's been in short in it. No, turn this way so we can see. Franklin, Franklin. Turn this way. No. Look, he's just going to clean it. He's been in short in it. No, just going to clean it. Scissors are down. Oh. We'll have to get baby Yoda too. Okay, let's get Franklin all done and taken care of. Yeah. No, I, I want to keep this on him. Okay, you can. All right, Daddy's going to clean it. Oh, mm, that's cleaning. Ouch. Gentle, Daddy. Gentle. Ouch. Gentle, Daddy. That feel okay? to say gentle Ronald. Gentle Ronald. <laughs> that Don't feel okay? Ouch. It feel better without your bandage Ow, on? he's cutting it. No, no it's cutting. a rag. Oh, oh. There's no knife to cut. Does it feel better without your bandage on? Mm -mm. No. No. Oh, I don't want blood on We're just going to clean it. Just cleaning. Just cleaning. Ouch. Okay. Here, turn so we can see. Still got some cleaning to do. But that's that's what we're working with. So the plan is in two weeks, we'll go to audiology. And that is where they'll get the equipment, the actual cochlear implant for the outside. And that's where we're gonna test it out and let him hear with it. Um, they did say there's just a, a learning curve that goes with that, um, him learning to listen and hear with a cochlear implant because it's very different than hearing with a hearing aid. So once they place the cochlear implant, um, they say for him not to wear his hearing aid. <laughs> so he can just listen through that cochlear implant and learn how to hear. Um, that's gonna be interesting because again, we just researched and heard that there's a lot of miscommunication in the beginning, but we're optimistic that it'll get better. He'll start healing, hearing much clearer and we're really excited about this. It's, it's a journey, but we're getting closer, so. Thank y'all for tuning in and we'll keep you posted on Franklin's journey. Till the next time, stay shiny.